All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that out of memory GPU thing. I know I've been uploading a lot of crazy environments lately. It's because a lot of people are actually interested in this. But also, that being said, a lot of people are getting a lot of errors. So in this video, I'm going to show you how maybe you can fix some of that errors. Even with a 3090, I do run into some issues opening maps. So depending on the map that you get, in this video, we're going to talk about Maui assets because that's what I've been making videos about whenever you create a template for your map You have a couple of options here. You have games film television Architecture automotive now usually I used to film television and live events one because this settings um, Has a little bit more high quality than per se say the game, okay? But the problem with this is sometimes there are maps out there. That's not gonna work with this right here so i'm going to give you an example and i'm going to show you pretty much the culprit of this so if i go to the film television and live events let me create one and i'm just gonna say blank and name this film and i'm gonna create a project for that and then i'm gonna open a new one and we're gonna go to i'm gonna launch it again all right so we have the film open here i'm gonna save it all and i'm gonna exit out of it we're gonna create a game one I'm going to do the same thing. And we'll just do like a first person. Okay. Create a project for that also. And let's open up my library. So this is how you usually add the Maui maps. Okay. So whenever I get the Maui maps, I would go to the launcher. I hate it when I do that. They need to fix that, man. It's so annoying. So I'm going to go here. I'll go to my library. And basically it's right here. Let's say Birch Forest Biome. I would add this to either the film or the game, okay? Also, just a tip, I actually just learned this today. Um, big thanks to Paul from Maui team. If you look right here, there's actually a default engine.ini for all of his maps. So make sure you download this. All you have to do is click it, control A, go to the project. Let's say right here, I have a Birch project, go to config, and just go to this default engine and paste it there and save it. Okay, so I already did it for this one, but for it to work properly, try that as well. If you're having issues, he has it for every single one of his maps. So let's say if I go to the Burn Dead Forest, scroll down, it's going to have its own 4.26 default settings. Okay, all right, so going back to the tutorial here. Now, if I go to the game, actually, let's start with the film. If I go to the film project that we just created, Two seconds ago and I go to config and I go to default engine see this right here the reflection capture resolution that's 2048 that's insane that's pretty high quality now if I go to the game one uh, game config default engine you're gonna see that the setting is not even there so if it's already too late and you already created a film template and you already started working on it Go back to that project and go to the film. Go to the folder and go to the config and go to that engine back. And you can change this to say 512, save it, reopen your project to see if it'll open back up properly. Because 2048 by default, that's a lot. Okay, and like I said, even with a 3090, there are some maps out there. I ran into one of the scans map. That I had to shrink this down to 512 for me to open the map because it was just massive. All right. So if you're having or getting that out of memory GPU error when trying to open a map in Unreal Engine 4, just change the reflection resolution here or just use the game template because as you can see, it doesn't even have that option in there in the config files. All right. Like always, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And speaking of, so we're just going to take a look and see what you guys are saying so I can kind of reply to it on the spot. And th that's the end of the video. If you don't, if you don't want to watch this, you can stop now. But I just want to take a look and respond to these guys. Mm. Yeah, okay, definitely agree. So with these kind of maps, obviously, yes... You, and this is what I was saying with the hardware stuff. As much as we think the hardware is there, it's not. <laughs> so I feel like, yes, it's... 
I feel like this is kind of like his maps are like the future, right? It's definitely advanced. Like I don't expect people to just download it and start creating the uh, you know like WoW and open world games from it. You know, it's just not going to happen, but it's it's just cool to see where the the software and the creativeness of these guys. These this is not a major, major studio. They'll be uh, Maui th these are just a couple of guys doing this thing. Okay? It's it's he's not a studio, but it's just amazing for me to see these guys creating these amazing environments right now. And I know in the future we would have enough hardware to run like a wow in that. You know what I mean? And just to put it in perspective, even Blizzard probably can't even make a game that will run that. You know, you know, it's kind it's kind of like that's that's what I meant. It's like I I just want to promote these guys because I want to they're kind of like just a small team and kind of like me, you know, like just my by myself. So that's why I support them so much and their environments are amazing. So no, you're not going to be able to create a freaking open world game with this map, but maybe in the future you will. So that's that. Give it a like while you're moving around. Yes, yeah, so it's like so the WASD thing as much as you would think not everybody play video games. So that's why I have to kind of tell you how I'm moving because not everybody plays video games. Especially people coming from virtual production coming into Unreal Engine 4, they are not going to be familiar with how you move around with that. Okay, so but anything good in life, there's always one person that's going to ruin it for everyone. Yes, that's that's for darn sure. <laughs> the richest chicken YouTuber ever. Come on, dude. It was a joke. Actually, it was half a joke because I was actually scared there. for Because I really didn't know what was inside that well. And I knew it was going to be scary. And I was doing that in the middle of the night. Like 1 o'clock a.m., dude. It's it's not fun with headphones on. It's it's not fun. Uh, yeah, so the problem you're going to run into is not so much the pricing. It's it's actually the um, the stock. Uh, I'm reading online in uh, reddit actually they're not gonna actually come back full i mean hopefully regular stock until like next year which is really terrible because this card oh my gosh like it's probably the best thing i've ever bought well yeah probably the best thing i've ever bought ever for 14.99 i got it from best buy and like just stalking that site but yeah it's not the price you can worry about it's the stock, and hopefully next year everything will kind of start to calm down. But yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I'm actually trying to get my uncle a thirty sixty right now, and I can't even find him that. You know what I mean? Not even a thirty ninety, just a thirty sixty. I'm trying to get him that, and it's and the thing that's competing with us right now are obviously the crypto miners. So you have to think about that as well. Okay. Wow. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome, dude. Uh, so shadows and the color contrast are a bit off. Yeah. So. I really wish I can record this thing in 4K, and I'm trying to find ways to do that. Uh, because what I'm seeing on my 4K monitor with my Asus Pro Art is not even close to what I'm recording. So whenever my hardware keeps up, trust me, this is it's gonna look much better. With using scans to see an offense get very contrasted, yeah, like the same thing, same thing he said up there. And yeah, so for the Iceland guys. Iceland map and this guy, so they're two different teams. Quixel Mix Megascan is like an actual legit company that Epic um, acquired for creating this kind of stuff. So the Iceland and and then the Iceland mar marketplace is Maui. Uh, that's just like kind of like a small team just doing their own thing. So let's go ahead. That all right, dude. Yeah, you are more than welcome. No <laughs> one details has details on it. Yeah, it's. That map is insane, and hopefully, like I said, one day, when I should be able to stream that or record that in 4K. Laptops, like other things before release, they're tested on maximum by hours and hours. Nothing, nothing gonna happen, <laughs> right? I've also heard people frying their stuff too, so I'm still pretty careful. Yeah, that that face mocap and the face wear stuff, actually, pretty good, pretty good stuff. This brown eyes red about a thirty something ninety something alien. <laughs> no, honestly, if you package this map and open it as an exe, like I showed you guys, it it runs better. Just try it with your system. Uh, I have two monitors. I have the Dell S twenty seven one DG, and I have the Asus Pro Art 
uh, 32 inch the cheap version not like the high quality one I have a theory what if the next video comes to life and you get 20k subs in one day what <laughs> would that disturb I have no idea dude <laughs> That would be insane, but I don't know how that would work out. I would probably fall out of the freaking YouTube and just Yeah, so like I said in that game, I mean you can you can think of this as a Witcher and a freaking Resident Evil game. It's amazing, man. It's the stuff they're creating over there in Quicksil is pretty pretty good stuff. Actually there's something to learn. Yeah, okay, so I read this one. Yeah, you you can do you can turn your phone pretty much on a screen and it would do the same thing. But the problem like that is, again, mobility. Like I said, I can't take a freaking laptop with me out in the forest and do motion capture, you know, and then have the LifeLink face app in front of a screen. I guess I can take a tablet with me, but, you know. Well, as far as looks at my modest Skyrim original. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying that. I mean, I, Skyrim, for the time, it was really advanced. I'm not going to lie. The level of detail is really nice, yes. 3D fun, really exciting stuff, and have a GoPro. Yeah, I'm actually gonna try and do something with this today. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow or this weekend. I'm gonna have I have an Insta 360. I'm gonna mount it on my helmet and use it as the camera. Or uh, HDR to this build, season is plugging in a tamper with metadata and HDR. I haven't tried the HDRs in Unreal Engine 4 to be honest, but I don't see it being that difficult. I haven't tried it yet. I do have an HDR monitor, but I have not tried it yet. You're welcome. And graphics enter the chat. Physics leaves the chat. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay, so here, who created the character you placed here? Dude, this this dude is insane. I'm, let me show you. It's this dude. And he he's from Germany. He, he is, as you guys seen this guy already, and this is supposed to be like low poly, mid poly. His name is Michael... Weeshim. Now my goal is one day I'm gonna be able to actually hire this guy to create some custom models for me because you know, I did talk to him and he has a right he has a rate for custom work, but it's kinda out of my league right now. But one day I'm gonna have this guy create a custom model because I want to create my own shorts. Original shorts. So one of the hardest part it's just finding stuff. It looks like all of his stuff is on sale right now. So that model that you saw was this right here. Okay? Follow him on ArtStation as well. But this is all his work. I, 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 I'm planning on getting majority of this stuff. Okay. Yeah, right on the last one. Yep. And I think already replied in some of these. Okay, that's it. Oh, there you go. All right, guys. So, yeah, like I said, if I can't keep up with replying comments i'm just gonna do it this way maybe at the end of the video so i can answer some of you guys questions so you want to learn unreal engine 4 but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations maybe i can help with that i just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside unreal engine 4. in an hour and 40 minutes i'm going to teach you how to install unreal engine 4 to create your very first cg animation unreal engine is the future and this video is the perfect introduction to it